Hi, I'm Dave and I help businesses to use technology more effectively. Today I'm talking about hybrid and virtual teams. I am doing a series of videos this week on VCAO versus CAO. Yes, what I mean is, do you employ a full-time IT director or do you have somebody who's a fractional IT director or VCAO, Virtual Chief Information Officer? Because it's obviously a lot cheaper to have somebody that's there some of the time. And this works particularly well for hybrid or virtual teams. I've run a virtual team for mm, about 10 years now, and before that they were hybrid, and before that we were mostly in the office. As technology has moved on, we, we went virtual a long time ago. And uh, it's a very different way of working, it requires very different management techniques, it requires different technology. It's a bit like, uh, I thought of a good analogy for this. Ah, oh, I know, it's a bit like going to the cinema. Now, 100 years ago, if you wanted to go and watch a film, uh, you had to go to the cinema. But now we've got televisions, you might have heard of them all, or smartphones, and you can watch films on those. Uh, so you don't need the cinema anymore. But people still go to the cinema, not as much, but they still exist. And maybe that's true for offices. Maybe in the future, people will still want an office. They just won't go there as much. I think it's quite interesting to think about the psychology of this. And certainly over lockdown, a lot of managers had to wake up to learning to be better managers because it's not easy to manage a virtual team. It's not easy at all. I know having done it for a long time, it requires a lot of management thought and planning. So the VCAO role, going back to what I want to talk about, is really great for uh, fractional and hybrid teams because if you're spread across uh, globally or across a, a, a big area, the team's not going to come together that often. There's things that I can put in place. Really, really simple thing. If you've not got this on Slack Teams, whatever you use, create a water cooler, uh, chat room, add everyone to it and say, if you want to talk about whatever, the latest film that's been released, do it in the water cooler. Don't do it in the other place where we're talking about our projects or our whatever we're working on at the moment. Really great way. L little things like this can make a big difference to making your team uh, gel together and be more effective. And um, I know a lot of software development companies, they, they kind of have these games that they play when people start to try and get the team gelling a bit more. And it's tricky when you're, when you're, when you're not together a lot or maybe have never met. But in terms of technology and what you need, a VCAO will be able to help you on that journey. So say you, you're at the moment, you're in a situation where a third of your team are in the office and two thirds of them are never going to come to the office again because they hate the office. You're in a difficult position between, from a management point of view because some people are going to be very isolated and you're also difficult from a technology point of view because there's, there's two different teams that have two different technology needs. And that's something I come across a lot and I can really help you make sure you don't overspend and then the things like if somebody's power supply gets eaten by their pet, they can't work because they can't charge their laptop. How are you going to fix that quickly? And setting up tools and processes for that kind of stuff, really, really simple to do, but massively cuts down on people's inability to work and their frustration with their work because they're not around. There's that camaraderie is not there. For junior people in your team, it's really important as well that they've got the right support that they need. And technology can really enable that. But... There's a lot more I could say about this. It's a very complicated area. But what my point is, is that if you're struggling to manage your virtual or hybrid team, maybe what you need is to have somebody come in who's a virtual IT director to help support the business growth using the team and technology together to be more effective. I hope that makes sense. Let me know what you think. Have a click on my link below. If you look at my website, I'd love to have a chat with you about how I can help with my fractional IT director services. Thanks for watching.